I've got numerous questions about what I thought about clamshells, whether clamshells are good exercises for people to do who are struggling with back pain or whatever type of pain. Uh, my general impression of clamshells is that they, for a lot of people, they are not the best option. Uh, and sometimes people say, well, these PRI exercises, some of them, when you're on your side, they look like clamshells. They may look like clamshells as you conceive of them. However, there's a huge difference. First, everything comes down to pattern and position. Whether an exercise is good for someone or not depends on the pattern they are in and the position of their pelvis. Now, a lot of times, you're assuming, remember, most, when people are doing clamshells or any other type of exercise, they're just assuming their pelvis is like this. So if they bring their left leg out, so if they're lying down and they bring that left leg up, they're assuming, well, I must be doing the glute medius. Uh, if you're on the other side, same thing, must be doing my glute medius. That is not necessarily the case. Or it could only be half the glute medius, and you have a front half and a back half, and they do different things. That's the important thing to remember. If a pelvis is rotate, if the left side comes forward and the right side goes back, and you're now lying on your side, let's say you're doing your left leg, as you abduct your leg, as you bring that left leg up, you're, all you're doing is reinforcing the pattern. You're already living, because of the pelvis comes forward and the left leg to, straight, to stay straight has to, has to externally rotate and abduct, you're already living in an abducted left legged position. That is the pattern you're stuck in. By doing a left sided clamshell with a pelvis still in a pattern, in a left AIC pattern, you're just reinforcing the pattern. You're just giving yourself more external rotation an abduction of an already externally rotated and abducted left leg. And that's just going to strengthen the pattern that you're already in and make things worse. On the right side, if the pelvis is back and in, and you do a right lying or a right sided clamshell, you actually have a better chance of it being somewhat effective simply because of the position of the leg. The, the right leg is actually adducted and internally rotated in this position when the pelvis is in this position. So when you abduct the right leg, it'll probably externally rotate a little bit at the same time. So actually you have a better chance of doing a right side clamshell that will not result in more pain or, or you know, maybe you'll have a little benefit. But overall, I don't think either will work too well and there's one main reason. And when you look at PRI exercises, one main reason beyond the position of the pelvis. When you look at PRI exercises, the feet are always on the ground or they're on the wall. The wall is the ground. The ground is the wall, it doesn't matter. Your feet are on a surface because the pressure of the surface upon your foot and the pressure of your foot upon the surface are giving your brain tons of sensory information as to how to appropriately activate the muscles. Without that proprioceptive input from the wall or the floor, you are activating your muscles without stability from the ground. And that's not real life. That's not how we live. That's not, that's not walking. That's not running. It's nothing. So that's a really big deal. You may not get the proper muscular activation unless your feet are actually on a surface. But also, because remember PRI is walking and breathing. In terms of walking, it's how your brain senses the ground that gives your brain the sense of how to activate the muscle appropriately. And because everything is so specific, like a right arch and a left heel, we're now incorporating that reference, that right arch or that left heel, into walking, into gait. So you could do a right glute exercise, but your brain doesn't know what that means. It does, your brain has no way to integrate that right glute into walking because without a right arch telling the brain to activate the right glute, there's no way for it to know what to use that right glute for. So you're just doing a right glute exercise. It doesn't know to incorporate that into gait because walking is based on sensory proprioception and feed forward mechanisms. Uh, so again, with the, the references are so strong, the left heel and the right arch are so important because now your brain knows how, oh, okay, that left heel hits the ground, hamstring. 
that right arch comes down to the ground, glute. Otherwise, you could just do a left hamstring exercise and a right glute exercise and say, well, you know, this is the muscles we're trying to work. Those are the muscles you're trying to work, but they have to be put into perspective into an order that the brain can understand and then incorporate into your daily life, i.e. walking and breathing, which is what PRI uh, restores the ability for you to do without compensation. So that is my answer as to whether clamshells are good exercises.